secret special moves and stuff like that. So I used to like the game for that purpose, and I used to play it a lot. I used to, I was getting better gradually, and I, I'm actually gonna I'm not gonna say that I did not learn anything from those from those guys. But, but, the chinks, who we used to say, the Chinese the chinks, guys, yeah, chink, not to be racist or anything, that's just what, what they used to say. For real. And I used to learn a lot from them, and I picked up a lot of my strategies in the gameplay from from uh, playing people that I used to lose to a lot, and I I got a lot a lot uh, better in that game as time progressed, and I used to beat them a lot, and I used to win a lot. They used to get mad. They used to always ask me why I'm always throwing. Because back in the days when you throw somebody in the arcade and you throw them over and over and over, they used to get really mad. Yeah, for real. In any game, Street Fighter 2, any game. Yep. So throwing was like a taboo. <laughs> for in, real. And in, in fighting games back in the day in the arcade. So, um, I guess, I don't know if that would answer your question, but. We got uh, Andre and we got Yipes on the mic, just, you know, getting it in. <laughs> I'm just sitting here being amazed with the way these guys play. I mean, you're, get, you're actually getting a taste of how EMP, you know, does their, their sparring. You know, they pick their characters, they get it in. They, they even if I, I've noticed that even if one of the characters lose many times, they'll keep picking the same character until they find a way to beat that person. That's smart. Do I think that when MVC3 comes out, will TVC be obsolete? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> That's like, without question, like, if, if MVC3 is a hybrid of TVC mixed with MVC1, then TVC is definitely going to be dead. And I don't think people really care about Tatsunoko characters to really want to hang on to the game when there's a better game with a similar engine but better, better mechanics. And just more familiar characters and more likable characters. I don't think people are gonna really hang on to TVC, and I think Capcom already came into the game thinking like that. So I think MVC th MVC3 is definitely gonna overtake TVC. Not to say that people won't play TVC for you know um, for um, nostalgia and anything like that, but no one to really play TVC on a competitive level. This is crazy. I'm looking at this match. This match is crazy. While Dominion answers the chats, every time he pauses to look, I'm going to throw something in. This match is crazy. Have you ever seen a Jiri and Ryu match like this? Not in, not in casuals. I can sit here and watch this match all night. I like the fact that they pick different characters. They try it out. It's interesting. They make it really interesting. Getting a taste of how EMP spars with each other. Andre Lambert or Limbeer. And uh, IFC Yipes is on the uh, on the on the sticks right now, doing his thing, working magic. And this one goes to Ryu. So if I'm correct, IFC Yikes is playing with Ryu. Andre is playing with Jury. Tech, let me see if I can commentate on such a great match. Uh, Ryu dash cancels into a random ultra. I know he misses this one. Oh no. Focus attack, didn't work. Half focus, level three. Level two actually. Ryu keeping his distance. Missed the fireball. Caught him. Random grab. Ryu fell for it. Uppercut into a, into an EX, but he got grabbed. Didn't expect to see that one coming. And this is it. 
know this might take all her health. And this one goes to Ryu. My thoughts on the new Mortal Kombat. <laughs> hmm. After Mortal Kombat Ultimate and Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Mortal Kombat just went downhill for me as a series, as a franchise series. And I'm just not familiar. Uh, I'm just not interested in Mortal Kombat anymore. Even Mortal Kombat 9 just doesn't do it for me at all. Not a fan of Mortal Kombat like that. This one goes to Ryu again. Remember, guys, always follow rawgameplay.com. Click the follow us button. We're on Justin TV now. We're no longer on Ustream. We like Justin a lot better. Remember, go to the website. We don't only do Street Fighter. We do shooters. We do puzzles. Of course, Empire Arcadia. You guys know them. You know, just check them out. Check their Facebook, their Twitter. Uh, Triforce gave you the information earlier. If you don't remember it, go back in the video and just hit rewind. You'll see. And uh, just follow us. So as soon as we do a stream, I mean, hopefully tomorrow I'll be streaming. Well, actually today. Actually, today I'll be streaming uh, uh, old classic emulator games. I finally got that to work, so uh, just stay tuned for that. You know, and I'll be saying, chilling out. That's all. Dominion, you got any questions? I mean, you got any answers for anybody? An answer? How do I feel Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition turned out? I think this is like the fourth time I answered this question. But for those of you that weren't on when I asked, uh, answered this question earlier, I, I answered it yet. Yeah. Um, I think Arcade Edition is more balanced than the previous game. And the game has only been out for a short week and a half. And it's probably too early to judge, but we already know what Street Fighter 4 is. It's not like it's like a brand new game. We already know what works in Street Fighter. We already know what doesn't work. And I think from those from those things, we can determine how we think um, Street Fighter is going to end up in the long run. Arcade Edition. And... It's, it's like I said, it's balance. For the most part, it's more, more balance. It feels more balanced. My character definitely feels more, more fair. If if not, definitely a little bit hinder on the on the downside. But you know, I'm not gonna say that my character is weak or my character can't compete. I'm just gonna say my character's more fair. That's just what I'm gonna say from now on. Because that was that was what Capcom was aiming for. They were aiming for fairness, and they were aiming for the game to be less scrubby and more skillful. And I guess they felt that this way, guy would be less scrubby, more skillful, and more fair. So. Can I text you? Pacer 482. That is so random. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know when's the last time I've held a stream mic 
this early in the morning. Like I said, you guys any, have any questions or whatever, just pose them to me and I try to answer them. It could be about Street Fighter video games, whatever. Just, I'm not drunk right now. I'm not tipsy right now. And I grow bored, but I'm not like that. Even though I don't drink often. Like I used to, but Pacer 482, unfortunately. Dominion does not play Xbox Live. And if you had a pretty beastly bison, it wouldn't matter when you play me. I destroy all and bisons. The bestest ones you get ever find. I haven't even been to Japan to play Yum yet, the Japanese Yum, so I wouldn't know. <clears throat> but, from what I hear, Daigo is unstoppable in Japan right now. This is what I've been hearing from Japanese players mouths. Daigo is unstoppable in Japan. Please beat Daigo. That's what I'm in here. No one's even seen him play Yun outside of Japan, so I guess that's how serious we're talking right now. But it's all part of his money making scheme. He wants to learn a new character. No one's figured him out yet. So he's gonna come to America, get money, a big, a big chunk of money, go back home. And then after that, he won't care if people download his character or not, because he's going to get that money. He's going to try to ride that gimmick to the wheels fall off, and then switch to the next top tier character. That's just his money making scheme. What did I order from Chinese? I ordered pork fried rice and chicken noodles. Something I have not eaten when I was in Europe. You know, when I was in London and I went to some certain neighborhoods, they actually have ghetto Chinese restaurants like you do. It's, it's, it's funny. I just never thought I would see that in London. But it's not everywhere. It's just some neighborhoods I went to. They, the, the, the poor areas. Poorer areas. Because the poor areas in London are more rich than the ones in New York. So I don't know if I can really call them poor. Yes. Well, the one that you guys went to is in the UK, 